What it do, YouTube, man? Busy in the building. Today's video, we be showing y'all the number one build, season eight on 2K24. 6.8 point forward build. Listen, best build in 2K. Pass, dribble, shoot, defend. I can do it all. Sit back, grab your popcorn, relax. I'm going to show you the best build, best jump shot, best animations, and show y'all gameplay, man. Busy in the building. Without further ado, let's get to it. y'all man ncaa coming out soon so if y'all want to see ncaa gameplay man i'm gonna be dropping those videos as well as still dropping 2k videos but ncaa drops in about two weeks bro uh july 19th 2k comes out in september so we got a few we got a few weeks of downtime right y'all see today man we here at the 1v1 court man y'all see busy i'm locked back in this is my first day bro really at the 1v1 he shot that broke step back jumper that's not going in my brother that's not going in you know what i'm saying y'all know me Got the drip. What would y'all rate the drip check, though? Drip check, drip check. Yeah, that's me. Hit that three. Boom! Every time we hit a three check, we got to hit the boom. We booming. You know what I'm saying? Boom! Every time I hit a three. So make sure y'all locked in with that, right? But what would y'all rate my drip check on the day? I think my drip a 10 out of 10. You got the Kobe's on. You can't go wrong with Kobe's. Tell me the, tell me a time you've seen somebody rocking Kobe's mid-range. Oh! I'm shooting like, man, I'm shooting mid-range like Kobe, though. No cap. I'm on this 6-9 build today. I can handle, dribble, defend, dunk, lay up, block, steal. You know what I mean? And I just got to steal on, on man. Hey! I ain't going to lie. I was on demand. I just said steal and literally just got to steal. I can't make this stuff up, Chad. I can't. You just can't script it. You know what I'm saying? Now, you see this dude right here. He was trying to cook me and do things like that. This build is overpowered, man, at six foot nine. You know what I'm saying? Cool little dunk. He got that dunk off on me. That's fine. He can have that dunk. You know what I'm saying? We not really tripping over that dunk. It's currently July, y'all, as y'all know. And 2K doesn't come out until September. We haven't had really much NBA 2K25 news, if I'm being completely honest with y'all, boys. We haven't had much. The only thing we've had is... In a, go watch my last video. I recently addressed it a little bit. 2K dropped the recent gameplay update, and they posted this online. They were saying that the rewards we earn from Season 8 on 2K will transfer over to 2K25. Now, if you really want to know what those rewards is, you can go check out that my other video right now. So go check out that video, man. I dropped a free locker code my team on there. A free my team. You get a free um, 99 overall rookie card. So make sure you go get that. And I'll update y'all on the 2K gameplay. But if you still here and you watching this video, i just tell you. <laughs> Listen, they said that there are a couple items that will transfer over to 2K25, y'all. And guess what they was? A robe and an oversized t-shirt. So I guess they're trying to get people to play 2K25, still play 2K24, in hopes to get more people to play 2K25. I don't know about y'all, bro, but I'm not playing 2K24 for an oversized t-shirt and a robe. I'm playing this game because I like I like to hoop. I like to hoop, so you know what I'm saying? We still uploading 2K content. I'm consistent for y'all boys, but honestly... If NCAA is going that crazy, y'all want me to keep uploading NCAA content, bro? I might take a break from 2K, you know what I'm saying? Now, we do got a couple months until 2K drop, you know what I'm saying? 2K does release in September, and then followed by Black Ops 6. So, if NCAA is trash, which I don't think it will be, I think NCAA going to get be crazy. Oh, my goodness. Reverse windmill dunk? Oh, my goodness. They got to put me in the dunk contest, bro. They got to put me in the dunk contest. 15 to 5. You already see. We giving this dude the works. Pause. No, no diddy. You got to say no diddy to everything nowadays because y'all take it the wrong way and run with it. I know y'all seen that that uh, that, that Rick Ross uh, emo on TikTok. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? But we cooking up. Get to the rim. I need another windmill on his head, boy. Stop playing with me. 6-9 build. NCAA coming out soon. Summer is here, y'all. Busy. We locked in, bro. Y'all know how we get to it. After this video, man, I'm going to take y'all through a build breakdown and dissect everything about this build so you can make this build, you know what I'm saying, the best of your abilities. Now, you can change it and tweak it to things how you want, things of that nature. If you want more steel, more block, anything like that, you can tweak it. But at the end of the day, man, this is how I make this build. He clamped me right there, no cap. I, I forced up a bad shot. I like to show y'all full gameplay footage, bro, because like even if I make a mistake or something like that, I don't like overpower, unstoppable, can score at all levels, man, just like Jason Tatum can in real life, man. Without further ado, let's get right into this video, all right? Now, heading over straight into the builder, man. We getting straight to it in this video. We're going to go shooting guard, 6'9", 185 pounds with a 7'3 wingspan, right? We know Jason Tatum is about 6'9", you know what I'm saying? The wingspan is realistic. 
You know what I'm saying? We, we, we kept the weight down because we want to keep and keep the speed. You know what I'm saying? We still want to be a fast build. We don't want to be no slow build out there. You know what I'm saying? Not being able to run and move, right? So, first things first, without further ado, man, we're going to go up and look at this close shot. 59 close shot, right? And so, I'm going to take y'all through the attributes and break them down and tell y'all how exactly they work. And I'm going to show y'all gameplay as well, man. So, let's look, well, let me just look at the screen. You see the gameplay, everything I need to see, right? 59 close shot, 77 driving layup with a 94 driving dunk. 85 standing dunk and an 85 post control. Now, let me tell you something. With a 77 driving layup, man, you get Hall of Fame Slithery, Silver Acrobat, Gold Area Wizard, Hall of Fame Bunny, Gold Pro Touch, Gold Scooper, Gold Float Game, and Gold Giant Slayer, y'all. So I can score with layups, floaters, spin moves, dunks, etc. It doesn't matter, right? Moving over to the driving dunk. Having a 94 driving dunk, as y'all can see, that's just OP, man, right? And if I do get 99, then I'll get a Hall of Fame Posterizer, but. And I, at the end of the day, to me, it's really not that worth it, right? Because once I get takeover, I get that plus five, and I'm already at a 99 driving dunk. So there's no need for me to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you get Hall of Fame post charger, but hey, with, with the takeover badge, dang near, you already got the Hall of Fame post charger, right? 85 standing dunk, and with 94 driving dunk, right? I get all the good driving dunks, contact dunks, everything like that, man. Those are overpowered. Man, let me say this. I got so many gameplay clips, y'all, of me. Getting a whole bunch of good contact dunks on this build, y'all, and I'll be showing y'all those, man. You get great contact dunks. The thing that makes this build OP, like a Jason Tatum build, I can play out the post as well, right? Six foot nine, 85 post control, you know what I'm saying? Silver unpluckable, silver post playmaker, gold dream shake, gold drop stepper with Hall of Fame post fade phenom, man. OP badge, gold post spin technician, that's OP as well. With the 88 mid range, and moving on to the jump shoot, 88 mid range. 83 point shot with a 73 free throw, man. That's just too OP. I ain't gonna cap to y'all, right? So with the 80 mid range, you get silver blinders, gold catch and shoot, silver dead eye, silver claymore, silver corner specialist, gold green machine, and gold space creator right now. 83 pointers, some of y'all might think that's too low for y'all, and if y'all think so, that's okay, because listen, I got y'all. The fact that I have an 88 mid range, I get all the best jumpers, all the best animations, and then I put boost on my jump shot. So my mid range is a 93. I'm, I'm hitting y'all with Kobe Bryant post phase and things like that. I can hit y'all with post phase, post hop shots because I have Hall of Fame. Like I said, Hall of Fame post phase phenom. So post phase are easy for me. I can score at all three levels, which makes this the most OP build. Which is why I said it was a Jason Tatum build because he's like six foot nine and can do all that as well. This reminds me of a Paul George as well, right? Those type of players, the long athletic players that can defend and score as well, right? You can even say to an extent, this is a Kevin Durant build, right? But I'm just six foot nine, probably an inch shorter. I'll probably call this more of a KD build, pal, probably, because the mid-range is so high and so lethal, right? So, with a 75 pass accuracy, 80 ball handle, with a 75 speed with ball, right? So I can play make, make plays, and do everything like that to still get my teammates involved. And if I got an ISO, I can still get an ISO bucket. You know what I'm saying? We love the ISO buckets. I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Tell my teammate, hey, brother, go sit in the corner, brother, man. Let me cook this dude up real quick, right? So I can ISO. I can make passes, you know, such as wreck. If I get a rebound, I can throw it full court pass. So I ain't got to worry about it going out of bounds and things like that. And with a 75 pass accuracy, the passing is fast enough to the point where the defense is slow to react a little bit. You get what I'm saying? So they're so slow to react. I can throw back doors, lobs, all type of things. I even, I remember one play, I threw like a behind the back flashy pass all the way up court between the defense so 75 pass accuracy if you're worried about that bro trust me it's enough you'll be set you'll be fine don't worry about that with an 80 ball handle i think that's what makes this build op 6'9 with an 80 ball handle with an 85 three-pointer with a 95 driving dunk come on y'all you who's stopping me realistically who's stopping me nobody right silver unpluckable silver ankle breaker i can't tell y'all how many ankle breakers i get and it's cool because it's like dang they should be activating out of nowhere right you get bronze blow by, which I'm not mad at, right? You know what I'm saying? Bronze is better than nothing, right? I'd rather get a badge bronze than not have it at all. Blow by is a good badge. Silver handles for days. Like I said, six foot nine can handle for days. I get bronze speed booster, bronze killer combos, as well as silver triple strike, right? So silver triple strike. The playmaking on this build is is underrated, right? I know you might think like, bro, you don't even get all that many badges, but these badges is really all you need, right? And I'm going to show y'all in that gameplay as well, right? Interior defense, over to the defensive side, right? Oh, almost forgot. Speed with ball. That's on me. Listen, speed with ball, 75. Like I said, silver hyperdrive, can stun move, you know what I'm saying? A lot of moves on the move. Y'all know a move that I do a lot, if I'm at Wrecker Park, you know, I like to come down the court 
and I do that um De'Aaron Fox crossover. It's glitchy. It slides you through. It makes you like a speed boost animation kind of right. But you got to be careful with the D Fox crossover because if somebody in that lane, they 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 gonna rip you. You know what I mean? So with a 75 speed with ball, D Fox crossover. That crossover is lethal, man. I gotta show y'all that move. If y'all wanna see that, man, comment down below. Moving over to the defensive side. Y'all know BZ. I'm first team all defense. I don't care if I'm on a sharpshooter. I don't care if I'm on a lockdown. I don't care if I'm going to build with no defense. I'm still playing first team all defense. But what that means is, regardless of what my attributes say, I'm locking in on the defensive end, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you can hold defense, you're going to win a majority of y'all games, man. And speaking of defense, if you're struggling with defense on 2K, on my team or play now online go check out my defensive tutorial video man that video is op man let me tell y'all something if you apply that you can apply the things that i peeped out in that video you can apply it to park rec center we play at 5v5 you can apply it to any game mode just about iq so if you struggle with defense go ahead and watch that video 85 perimeter defense 85 skill right with 85 perimeter defense you might ask bro that's kind of low ain't it that's kind of low nah my guy let me tell you why it's not Silver ankle braces, silver challenger, silver clamps, silver pick dodgers, silver workhorse, go off ball pass. Off ball pass is OP, bro. Y'all know a rep when we all do try to hit you with the back door. That's what that off ball pass do. It, it makes sure like you do you getting that bump animation. Kind of like a pat bed. When I think of off ball pass, I think of straight Patrick Beverly, bro. That nigga he's a real life pass. 65 interior defense. I don't get anchor, but I get silver workhorse, which I really don't care about honestly, but with a 65 into your defense, I do get stopped in the paint because I'm six foot nine. I still have the ability to contest. I'm tall enough, right? A lot of centers are only six foot nine. So the fact that I have 65 with the six foot nine, it's a good combination to where I still get stopped and still have defense. So don't gotta worry about that. 85 steel, right? So I get silver interceptor, silver glove, and silver right stick ripper. I, this build, every day, every time I play wreck y'all, no cap. I end the red game with at least four steals. This build is OP right? in, in the passing lanes, long passes, short passes. If I'm playing help defense, y'all know me. If y'all watch my streams or watch my videos, I'm always active on defense talking that junk, bro. Because on defense, you're not scoring on me. People look at it like, you look at this, you're like, oh, all he got is, that's all you, this is all you need, y'all. I'm telling you. On my 6 8 build, all I have is like a 70 perimeter defense and, I, and I'm clamping up. So it's like, it, it just depends. How you play with IQ wise and things like that, right? Moving on to defense, I have a low block, you know what I'm saying? Low offensive rebound because I'm at the guard spot. I can't have everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, 2K trying to make it more realistic. So I decided if there's one thing I'm going to miss out on is block. And that's something is because I know I still have interior. And also, most of the time I'm playing with another center because this is my guard build. I'm a six foot nine guard. So even at the fact that I don't get a block, I'm in there holding my hands up and nine times out of 10, I'm getting a stop. If I don't get a stop, it's because he got some glitchy dunk animation. But most of the time, I'm not even in those predicaments. But the times I am in those predicaments, I'm getting a stop. So, and last but not least, I have a 70 defensive rebound, right? And that gave me just enough to get bronze rebound chaser, which is OP. Because at rec center, I'm snagging centers. At anything, I'm snagging centers, right? And I think it might be because my 82 vertical helps out with that as well, right? Vertical comes in clutch, so we're going to get that. We're going to get there to that point, right? Over to the physicals, right? So I let me tell you something about the defense. Don't get so fooled in the fact that I don't have a high enough skill, I don't have interior or offense or block. You don't need that. Play your role. I play my role. It's a, this is a guard build, right? So I play my role. But if I'm ever in that spot, which I don't want to be in the paint, but if I'm in that spot, I can get timely stops. 65 perimeter defense while being 6'9. I'm contesting mostly. 75% of the people in the paint on this game. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about that at all. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to show y'all in the gameplay as well. Watch some of this gameplay. Just watch how I'm playing and how my defense affects the game as well. 80 speed, bronze speed booster, silver hyperdrive, 66 acceleration. I know some of y'all like, 66? My God, what? That's too slow. No, it's not, bro. It is not too slow. Listen, on 2K, you do not need acceleration. You don't need that. Don't let them make you think that that's what you need, you know what I'm saying, because you got to be fast, this and that. Don't waste your points on acceleration, trust me. And watch from this gameplay. If you don't believe me, sit back and watch the gameplay. 50 strength, once again. 50 strength, 50 strength. Yes, bro, 50 strength. You don't need that all. You don't need all that strength. You really don't. Trust me, you all do not need all the strength on this game. Strength is overpowered. Every year before 2K, 
Oh, you need strength. You need strength, man. I'm, I'm done believing that at this point. You know what I'm saying? Offense always beats good defense. Great offense always beats good defense. You know what I'm saying? And same thing with the game. Strength, what is strength really doing for me? If my offense is good enough, they not even going to get the ball back. What do I need strength for? So, unless you're a lockdown or you're playing post-up. But if, that, if that's not your role, strength should be the last thing you're worried about, honestly. 82 vertical, right? And that just helps with everything I already got. Go posterizer, go area wizard. It helps my rise up and it helps me get snagging boards and grabbing rebounds at 6'9, which makes it easier for me to grab boards, which is why I grab so many rebounds with a 70 rebound. And we have a 99 stamina, man. This is my favorite build I made this year, and I'm gonna tell you something, I'm not making another build the whole year because this is all that I need. You know what I mean? This build gonna get you through. Shades of Jason Richardson, who's known as a pure slasher. He won the dunk contest back in the OG days if you have OG NBA knowledge. Herb Jones, who like who the fuck is it? If you were NBA casual, you probably don't know who Herb Jones, who Herb Jones is. He a lockdown. He a lockdown who played for the Pelicans. And you thinking Clay Thompson? He a sharpshooter. So you gotta build. You they gave me three different types of players: a slasher, a lockdown, and a sharpshooter. So what would that say about my build? Op. That's what, that's what I'm saying, bro. All these players are three different types of players, and they gonna put all these people on here, bro. So listen, three level threat. BZ build, six foot nine, overpower. Y'all know how we get. Like, comment on this video. Beastie Boy BZ. Listen, comment out, man, make this build. L let me tell y'all something, too. I'm gonna give y'all some cheese. If y'all don't wanna make this build and waste your money, hop on my league, create a player, create it with these same attributes, put your game on Hall of Fame, and test this build out, right? Test the build out. I'm telling y'all, y'all not gonna be disappointed, man. Like this video, comment on this video if y'all new. It's your boy Beezy. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Here's my jump shot, man, for 2K. Lower base T Mac, Oscar Robertson, Sadiq Bay. One of the coolest jumpers in this game. Easy, fast. It's, it's green. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's, it's that money. Release speed all the way up. Blending. You got to keep it a little, little bit of low. 60%, 34%. Man, y'all know what we do. We here, man. Beezy in the building. All A plus stuff. Release height. I'm still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. You're up 2-0. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Don't follow rules, it's so renegade. I can't follow rules, I'm so renegade. I'm so uncared. Oh, don't follow rules, I'm so renegade. Okay. Not hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. Not hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. I'm DTF for life, man, that what Prima say. I'm DTF for life, man, that what